Oh, my head. I was having that chess match with Virtual Dagwin, and he lost again. He threw a bishop at me this time. Those bishops are certainly pointy. Hello everybody and welcome back to Survivor Challenge. So today we're going to be removing the tent and we're going to be building our new log cabin. Dare I say house, I think it is a house. Um, it's going to be lovely. Such an upgrade from the tent, although the tent was pretty good. It's not going to be there though. That's going to turn into the grass field. We're going to level it, make it all nice and smooth. The house needs to go somewhere further down here. Obviously not in the yard. Um, but maybe just built off the side of the yard, so we can level this. We could, we could take a few trees down here and and build it up and then put it here somewhere. So we're going to do that first of all today. Also in the very near future, the greenhouse is going to be going because we do need to get the cows. And I set myself a rule. Once we have cows, we're producing manure. Uh, we need to get the other greenhouse, the one which requires you to have manure as well. So uh, it's much more challenging than just giving it water because these Crops are actually getting no fertilizer at all, just the water. Um, so yes, that'll be going at some point. The new one will be built somewhere different, probably next to the house. So I think down here, I think this would be a good place. Um, yes, yeah, so if I start to take some of these trees down, I know <laughs> some people do not like it when I keep taking trees down, not because it's bad or anything, but because it's uh, repetitive. But don't worry, we have to do this. It's going to help the series in the long run. And to be honest, actually, I think it's just a couple of people. It just When you read the comments, for some reason, if it's got like 10 thumbs up, you think, oh, that's loads of people, but actually, no, it's very few compared to the amount of people actually watching the video. Okay, so, um, yeah, just strip the branches off here. There we go. Um, I think we don't need to take all of them down. This one here has got quite a bit of wood in it, plus it's a view blocker. As for the stumps, yes, the fantastic easy development mod does have an option, or a feature I should say, um, which allows you to just delete every single tree stump on the map. So that's how I've removed those stubborn ones. They disappeared a few episodes ago. Okay, there we go. Looking good. Oh, no, there's always another tree. <laughs> Again, it's a bit of a view blocker. So, yes, this one will have to go too, but that will do for now. I now process these trees. I will pop them onto a trailer, and we can sell the wood. Goodbye, stump. We can now use our fantastic New Holland 8970 to pull the trailer, because it's going to be quite heavy. We always get a bit stuck on the hill. Once all the house building is done, we're going to drill the new field, which is just over there, and also put some fertilizer onto there as well. So all the pH is done, the lime and the plowing. It is just a case of getting the crop into the ground. Okay, should be okay just there. Let's load it up. Okay, so now you can really see how we've opened it up. This was all sloping away before. Yeah, it's quite a cliff. I uh, don't want to look down there, but you can see how the greenhouse now is 
obviously in the wrong place. Um, because eventually this will all be smoothed off, although I could still have like a, a small cliff there of grass, a bank of grass, and then we could, we could have like an island, which will probably be better, because I don't know how easy it's going to be to smooth the whole yard. Probably not too difficult if the greenhouse isn't actually there. But with it there, it's actually quite impossible. <laughs> uh, it doesn't want to work. It doesn't want to smooth it up against the greenhouse, because uh, obviously its foundations are stood there. So anyway, yeah, let's go over to the cell point, make a bit of money from these, and then we can build the log cabin and then remove the uh, tent. I don't really expect to make much money here. Anything is something. And it might not all sell in one go. Nope. Try again. Perfect. Oh, I love this uh, environmental score reward. It's really good. Helping us out a great deal. This tractor doesn't steer super tightly. But this is not the super steer model. There is the super steer model. Okay, so yeah, let's get back to the farm and start building. Hmm, still feels pretty empty to me. I think it'd be so nice to have some trees just at the entrance and at the end of this track. Shame I don't own the end of the track. <laughs> No, I will. I'm going to put a couple of trees in at some point, not necessarily right now. Uh, we need to focus on this first of all. And once the yard is sorted, yeah, it'd be good to get some more trees put around the outside of it. Maybe one in the middle somewhere, a, like a, a great oak. Um, right, okay, so construction. We need to go to farmhouses. We've had the tent. Actually, I think, did we start off with something like that? And then we went to this. Um... I'm going to go to this next, and then eventually, maybe something like a, a house made out of bricks and mortar. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's only £10,000. I think it'll be nice for the... Oh, it doesn't have a... Oh, it's got a side window. Two side windows. We want to... Basically, we want to have a view of the lake. So, which way do we put it? Like that, like that. Might be good. Hmm. I think no. We should just we should just have the front facing over here. It just looks good. I reckon about there. Because we also do need to have some grass. Maybe some small trees. I know this is survival challenge, so I shouldn't be spending money on unnecessary things, but they're not too expensive like that. That's £10. I think we can probably stretch to £10. £20, that's quite nice. Dogwood tree. In fact, they're all pretty good. We're only going to get small trees anyway, so... We're never going to run the risk of spending too much. Yeah. The pagoda dogwood. I think one there, and probably one there. Not enough to block the view though obviously and have some grass although yes it probably should be the proper grass we'll just texture there first of all I feel like I'm playing the sims not farming simulator <laughs> yeah don't worry we'll get back into the farming in just a few minutes um, and yes from there let me go on to plants the meadow might be a bit much it also costs us money. No, we'll have some grass. Just have a little lawn at the front. Oh, it's not costing us money, that's fine. I think I actually did remove the original grass, so we'll put it back. Lovely. Okay. Um, getting carried away. That is pretty good. I was going to put some birch in. In fact, no, forget it. I'm just going to do this at a time up. See you in a second. Okay. Let's take a look 
see our brand new property. Well, I think that looks quite nice. Oh, look, it comes with some little trees. How cute. Let's go inside. Got some fresh fruit. Oh, yes, this is good. Oh, we don't want to go back to the tent now. We even have running water. How lovely. Um, yes, so that is our wardrobe, obviously. That is our bed. And that is our view. We can see the lake. But even better, we can walk out and see that. Uh, maybe a, a small fence required, I don't know, but that is just so good. Very, very happy with that. And uh, yes, the yard, I know it looks very messy now. Once we've got that greenhouse shifted, I can properly level it and landscape it. And I think, yes, we're going to put some trees in it somewhere because it looks a bit open. But there are more sheds to put in as well. So, yes, let's just get rid of this tent. There are some objects around. So we get £224 back for that. It's pretty good. Must have sold it on an online auction site. And, yeah, I did buy a few accessories. Not too many. Actually, the uh, gaming device and the chessboard, we won't get the money for those. Nope, not getting the money for those because they were props, part of Virtual Dagwin's uh, roleplay. <laughs> um, and now all we have to do is level it. So if I just take this level over here, try and build it up a bit without messing anything up. This little piece of grass will have to be redraw, but that's fine. And now quickly soften it. Hopefully it's going to blend. I know it was pretty bad here, actually. Very bumpy. Should be okay. Okay. Perfect. That's certainly good enough. So yeah, I need to get the plow. need to make that neat so we can redrill it with grass. I'll come back down here and do this. I have the plough and I've just put a bit more grass in. Make it look a bit more natural over there. Obviously at the moment it's more like a construction site, but eventually this yard should look quite beautiful. It just makes sense to do this now because I'm going to get the drill out. But what I don't want to do is accidentally dig up the track. Uh, that little strip there is part of the new field. Doesn't matter if I plough it. And I just need to work out where we're actually going to go to here. I think just... Yeah, make, make a 90 degree. thing is, even if I make a 90 degree and it looks really obvious, it's going to be grass anyway, so it will just disappear again once it starts to grow. Just head round here. Make it look good. I don't think this area has been soil sampled, so we'll just have to very quickly take one sample, which will probably cost me about £50, I think it's £50 for a sample, which is not too bad when you consider how much more money we can make, or save, because it means we don't put on too much fertiliser. So there goes the sample, it's covering the whole area, it's perfect. Sample taken, brilliant, and then just send it off. Which was indeed £50. And it looks like they've already done it, so it's exactly the same soil type as the rest of it. I think we could have guessed that, but yeah, we know everything about that piece of land. So, I'll put that spreader on the back. I think we do just about have enough. Yes, we do. We've just about got enough lime in there. Wow, 
I didn't think the front loader would make us tip out. Yeah, this yard seriously needs to be leveled. Or smooth. I think sooner rather than later we need to get the cows, because then we can get the manure. I can't remember how much the smallest enclosure is. There might be a mod which allows us to have a cheaper cow enclosure. Have to look into it. But it's something I want to get into pretty soon. Along with another shed. Because I've still got quite a bit of machinery outside. Okay, it didn't want to do that piece. I'll just make sure it has actually uh, registered it. Yeah, it looks like it has done. So we don't actually have to do it. Well, the only way of doing it is by putting it onto manual because it won't do it automatically. And now we need the drill. I have no idea how much seed we have, but I seem to remember the drill was pretty much full. Hopefully it is. Yeah, there's quite a ridge. Wow. That's better. I've got rid of it. Just smoothed it off a bit. At least it is designed this way though, it means the water off the roof will run away. Okay, so it's 74% full. First of all we need grass, which is that one. Get this area done. Uh, probably easiest if I go across like this. Should have grown by tomorrow, I'd have thought. Fairly fast at growing, and I'll also do that piece there, because otherwise it's going to look really weird. If I just back up, probably about here. Yeah, because if I don't do that, it means the arable crop is going to be heading down there, and it's just going to be this really weird slither which will have to be done by the combine. There we go. So, yeah, this is where it all begins. Finish the grass, and then put the next crop into the top piece, which I think is gonna be barley. Yeah, I'm gonna do barley. Barley should be good. No idea if we have enough seed, but we'll soon find out. We have the money to go and buy some more if necessary. That view of the yard from here, I think it looks so good. I'm very pleased with the positioning of the new farmhouse. And actually, I do look quite like the greenhouse there. Uh, so what we'll do is we will turn that into a, a bank. And instead of it just being like a dirt bank and making it look like it's just not level, I'll either put a cliff face texture on it or a grass texture. Just put grass around it. Probably actually a mixture, probably put rocks and grass around the top of it to make it look really natural. I could even do it now because that's likely the location of the replacement greenhouse. When I say now, I mean just after doing the drilling. We have 13% seed left, which is not enough, but that's fine because we have the front loader on. We can take some of the seed out of a new bag 
and put it into the hopper on the back and then pick up the bag and then bring the rest of it home. I'll just use up everything we've got. Uh, would it be enough? I don't know actually. I think it's going to be really close. Either way, let's just consume everything we currently have. Wow, that was unbelievably close. So we don't need to get any more seed today. I think it would be quite nice for prices to be dynamic uh, for things that you buy, fertilizer and seed, so that you can buy things in advance if the price is low, bulk buy, like what fertilizer prices are these days. Uh, if you could buy loads when the, the price is low, then you don't have to spend low when the price is high. And fuel, of course. Oh, fuel prices, blimey. Anyway, there we go, the, the field is done. We do need to spray it, but first, yeah, I want to try and focus on this bank. It'll only take a second. Try and make it look a bit neater. This bank here. At the moment, it just looks like a floating greenhouse. I'm going to stand here, and yeah, I'm going to click my fingers and see if this looks any better. Tell me what you think. Was that a bit much? <laughs> uh, well, it certainly looks more natural. I do like the look of it. I'm not going to spend any more money on trees for the time being. Um, but it is amazing what you can do with, well, that, what it was. So this just needs to be smoothed off. It does make a nice little feature in the middle of the yard. It just makes it all look so much more natural. It's coming together, slowly. But yeah, please do let me know what you think to that. And to this, do you like it? When I'm creating them, I always think, oh, this is going to look terrible, but then it actually looks okay. Probably grows on you. Um, okay, yeah, so now for the sprayer, which is just there. I will just take the front loader off. We should have quite a bit of liquid fertilizer in the, in the IBC, so we should be alright. Oh, it's already full. Brilliant. Uh, so... We've got all of our sensors on the tractor, three of them, and we've already analysed the soil. So I don't. I think we do have to do the grass. The rest of the grass has probably already been done. Oh wow! Yeah, maybe I haven't done any of the grass. That looks awful. We don't do this area because that's soybeans. But yeah, it looks like we have to do everything. I'm just going to start it up and see. Is that making an impact on the grass field? I think it is, but I can't... Or maybe it's not. No, maybe we don't do the grass, because, again, it's... Uh, it's not the right crop type, potentially, although you do tend to fertilise grass. I know. Jump out, take a look at it. No, nitrogen is perfect. But nitrogen over here is bad. So yes, we do all of the new area. Hello, what do we have here? I must have made that myself. Let's crack on. Oh, we're almost out of fuel. I will get some diesel once I've finished this because otherwise we're going to be running dry it's flashing I don't think I've ever actually had a tractor get into the red where it's actually flashing before if only there was an achievement for it I would have achieved something, hooray not the greatest achievement ever but you know, run a tractor out of diesel <laughs> uh, yeah we should be alright we should be able to make it up to the fuel station it's taken five hours, that's actually quite an interesting thing to note. Five hours to get from a full tank to an almost empty tank. You can see on the mini-map, things are really improving. Looking good. So increasing nitrogen level to optimal value for barley on loamy sand. So that's plus 70 to 75-ish nitrogen per hectare. Yeah, 70 to 75 kilograms per hectare. Ok, 
because it is currently very poor. Oh, I should probably have the crop center on. Does that make a difference? I don't know. <laughs> well, it's all working okay. It's made no difference, so that's good. It's nice that we actually do have two reasons to go up here. We need to sell the plough and we need to refuel. So maybe the plough can fund the fuel. <laughs> Although yeah, fuel prices in this game are nothing like real life. I probably should say they were like real life. Not like they are now. Reality has become unrealistic. Okay, right, here we are. I will repair it and I will repaint it. That gives us something at least. So, we've made it without running out of fuel. We can get it all filled up again and ready for next time. Oh, and we can buy something in the shop as well. There we go. How much is that going to be? £146, as it should be. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and we'll be back tomorrow with more. See you again soon. Bye for now.